What is up you guys and welcome back to another video as you can see we're over here at my buddy's house and yeah I kind of want to just take a stop by here kind of check everything out everything's looking pretty good man except for the yard the yards are looking pretty bad we may have to mow this for him it definitely be a way to gain some uh hay we could sell the hay from it for sure because this is some really good hay cutting grass you know this right here sells for really really good man it does great anyway one thing I wanted to check on real quick is the old Peterbilt now you guys have not seen this vehicle for quite some time and that is because it's just been sitting here man i don't even know if it would crank up as of right now so yeah but uh we're gonna try you know it's just been sitting here the battery on it it's set for longer actually and crunk up just fine so it might start up with no issues but we may use that to do a little bit of hauling today you know and i kind of just miss driving it honestly we were going to do like a two-tone paint job and it just hasn't happened man this thing's been sitting over here pretty much ever since we got it running so yeah i think it's time we get this thing home you can see it's a little dirty right there and shine the light look how dirty this thing is man get it cleaned up and we're gonna get over here and figure out what we want to do today for his yard you know and we got to do some stuff to the truck too let me not forget that we're gonna be adding some new wheels and tires to the squatted chevy here and i'm gonna be honest with you guys we're gonna squat this thing some more yeah we're gonna squat it even more than it is right now so yeah, man, we're just going to go crazy with it. I'm probably going to completely... Oh, that was kind of a tongue twister. But yeah, I'm going to completely redo that front lift to where this thing, man, I want it to be pretty much straight up in the air. I mean, if we're going to be driving around a squatted truck, we might as well drive around the most squatted truck. And we'll have to cut out a hole in the floorboard to see. May just put our windshield down there. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding, but that would be crazy. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do real quick is I think we're going to go ahead and hop in the Peterbilt. We're going to head to the house, pick up a trailer... That we can haul the squatted truck back or we'll see we may just leave it there for the day and then when we're done park this back right here because this is where the truck's going to get painted so yeah it may just hang out here but we're going to be using it for today's video okay everything looks good nice beautiful engine there man looks so good oh and it started up man here we are out driving the peterbilt it's been quite some time oh man i forgot it has the jake brake there oh it sounds so good all right we're off to go pick up a trailer in order to do a little bit of hauling, man. We're going to haul some pretty hefty stuff today. I figured this old Peterbilt would be perfect. Let's go ahead and wake our realtor up here. Wake up, buddy. I don't even think he's there. But anyway, make it on around right here. And we need our trailer. Do you guys know what we did with that thing? Oh, you know what, you guys? We left it there at the contractor shop. So we got to go all the way there with the Peterbilt. Go ahead and make this right here. Go up like this, and we're headed to the contractor shop because I got to get my flatbed trailer. I don't know if you guys remember, but in that last video, we dropped everything off there. We also got to pick up the skid steer. Oh man, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, so it's probably better we drove the Peterbilt to date for this video or most of the video because, uh, yeah, man, we got to do some hauling. And everything is still sitting exactly where I left it. Bring it backed up right here like this. I did leave enough room to where we could get back in here, no problem. That are all hooked up. Oh, Peterbilt hauls this trailer like it's nothing. All right. I'll see you guys here in a minute when we get to the house. We get all this unloaded. All right. We are here, you guys. Let's go ahead and get pulled up. I need to drive the old regular cab 602 here pretty soon because it's kind of just been sitting there under the shade tree for the past, what, like three days, three or four days? Yeah, I know, buddy. We're not, we haven't forgot about you. Park this here like this. Leave that running for a minute. All right, I'm going to cut this off for a minute while we wash it. Going to get this thing all cleaned up and looking very, very nice. It's just been sitting over there collecting dust for, oh man, I don't even know how long now, but been definitely way too long. I'm excited to have this thing out again today. Be driving it around, you know, cruising. It sounds so good, man. You cannot get enough of that Jake Brake sound and, oh man, just the way it sounds cruising down the street. All right, so I walked over there to get the tractor, um, mainly because I wanted to get it back to our house. I was just worried about it being out there in the open field, just sitting didn't want anyone to get any ideas and try to drive off with our tractor. So let's go ahead and pull this back right here for a moment, just like this. I'm going to swap over and get hooked up to the bush hog here. And we're going to go take that to my buddy's house, go ahead and get his yard mowed for him. And uh, yeah, we should be uh, pretty good to go after that. And the yard should look so much better. All right, you guys, we just got here. So what I'm going to do is you go ahead and get started mowing all of this. And yeah, man, it really looks so much better with the new driveway so we're going to kind of completely just transform his 
home for him like you know along the side with him working we're, we're gonna help him might i say that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be helping him get this place looking exactly how he wants it to starting with uh the yard here it needs moats so we're gonna go and take care of that real quick go ahead and start right here it is gonna leave behind that kind of hay so we're gonna have to come back and clean all that up as well man so you can see the dirt underneath is uh not very good it's not very good dirt this was built on top of a old cornfield this place used to be so yeah we're gonna have to come back kind of get everything plowed up replant and it's gonna take some work to get this yard looking how he wants it but we can get it there i'm gonna have to bring in my mower for some of these tighter areas because uh yeah we just can't get in there with the tractor it's just not gonna happen so we will come back and bring the mower and do it like that you know but for pretty much all the big stuff we're gonna use the tractor all right you guys we just got finished up mowing all of the yard here you can see man we got everything pretty much done now there will be some spots we have to come back and mow with the mower because you know the tractor just can't get up in some of those tight spots like the corners so this one we actually did manage to get pretty good we might have to take and weed eat that area um let's see that little spot through there is you know needing to be redone and like this little corner up here so these little spots, you know, we'll just come back and go over with the mower. But we did manage to get all of it mowed, and it looks a lot better. Now the only thing we got to do is come back and row everything up and get it to where we can bail it. Now we're not going to do that today because we actually got to go ahead and take the squatted truck home here to put the new wheels and tires on it and that different lift so it's going to be even taller now. So yeah, we got to get all that done. So I'm just go ahead and lower the mower right here. Go ahead and cut off the tractor. We're going to hop in the old squatted truck. Man, this thing's so loud. And then we're going to get the other little lifting blocks put on the front or whatever you want to call it and get the new wheels and tires. And this thing's really going to be lifted then, man. It's going to be a, a lot more squatted than it is now, believe it or not. Go ahead and back out of here, man. This thing is so loud. Nothing's coming. We look pretty good right there. And we're headed off back to the house to go do some... Uh, modifications here to the old squatted truck we definitely can't make it any worse that's right you guys yeah definitely can't so that's kind of why i want to mess around with this and see what we can make happen and see just how crazy we can get with this truck all right we're here let me pull in like this i'm gonna get the four wheeler pulled out real quick we're gonna get this pulled in and get to work we need to go do some more stuff with this four wheeler too man it's got the reaper wheels on it makes for good content All right, get that loud thing turned off. So when you guys see this truck again here very shortly, well, it'll be short for y'all. You know, it'll just be like a, a split second difference, but it's going to take me a while to get all this done. So I'll see you guys here in a moment. All right, you guys. So uh, as you can see, yeah, this thing is um, squatted even more than it was before. Not saying that this thing looks good, but it's just very, very squatted. Like, it's insane, man. We got the hitch dragging the ground. We went with a little different wheel and tire setup because we did drop it so low in the rear to where we had to have different wheels. We couldn't run any offset anymore. So that is why we went with the wheels we did. Now, as you can tell, man, this thing is so much taller. It looks crazy. This is, uh, this is wild, man. It's really hard to tell where we're driving now. That's why I was saying, man, we're going to have to start cutting holes into the grill and just cutting a window that goes from the dash all the way out straight across so we can actually see where we're going because, uh, man, by the time you're in here, you're looking straight up at the sky. And it's very, very difficult to drive. We're going to have to enter this thing into some squatted truck shows. Because we may actually be able to win a little something with this thing. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. I mean, I think this is the most squatted OBS regular cab truck I think I've ever seen. I think we may win that category right there. I think this is probably the world's most squatted truck, honestly. This thing looks wild. Alright, now we're going to drive this thing. I actually need to go get gas for it um so let's go ahead and whip this thing around right here like this kind of okay it, it's working it's working all right we're good yeah so i'm gonna stop by the gas station that's kind of where we're headed right now might even get a couple pictures of this uh build we got going on here it's kind of turned into a random build so i bought it as a joke and now it's kind of turning into somewhat of a build more or less like to see just how squatted and crazy we can make the thing we're just gonna wait and see how long this thing takes to uh break because we're gonna start hauling with it i'm gonna get a different hitch to where we can actually haul things and yeah it's gonna be funny man 
All right, we just got pulled up to the gas station. Let's see what sides our gas thing on. I think it's the left. Pull up like this. I'm going to get some gas real quick. All right, got my gas, man. They were uh, pointing and laughing at my truck while I was in the gas station. Can you believe that? Because I can. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up today's video right here. I'm going to run in here and get some bread. Yeah, we're going to go in there and get some bread. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.